I thought we'd do a quick update today on the Axie Infinity case study because we've had quite a couple of things happen today. Um, first of all, the AXS token price has gone way up. I think it was about $60 or so when we started this. It's currently at 94 And a good part of that is probably down to the AXS staking being announced. Um, so you can see here on the top right, the APR is currently at 250 um, that seems high, but that goes down the more AXS is staked. And it was actually, I think, closer to double that earlier on today. Um, so basically, if you're holding AXS and you stake it, um, the game rewards you for locking that coin away rather than selling it. And they're talking about giving uh, kind of voting rights within the game in terms of uh, the game's direction and development. Um, but more importantly, for our purposes at the moment, you also get rewarded in AXX for holding the coin. Um, at the moment, it does seem to have driven the price up. I've currently staked two just because I had two sitting. Uh, I don't have a lot of AXS on my Ronin uh, wallet, and I don't really know if I'm going to hold any more for the moment, but we'll see how that goes. So AXS aside, we've also got some movement in the SLP price up to just over seven cents, which is great. That's exactly what we want to see. And if we have a look at this, this is the uh, amount of SLP burned against the amount of SLP minted. Um, basically, the more we're burning and the less we have, see, so yeah, it's going to hopefully drive up the price of SLP. You can see here is where they made the change. So you can see uh, we are definitely burning more SLP, but we're definitely producing more. I don't know what happened that day, um, but wow. So that's a step in the right direction. Um, I don't think it's moved the market as much as I was expecting. So uh, the five days ago now, we started our first breeding chain and I can find that here. This is the account at the moment. Uh, you can see only two AXS are showing because we've staked the other two. Um, if you did happen to catch the last update video, you might also notice that some axes are missing from the account and we'll talk about that in a moment. Um, but to start with, this is the breeding chain we set up uh, five days ago. These are the two eggs it produced. Um, you can see here it does take five days before you can hatch them and it creates the new NFT. We're about an hour or so away now from being able to do that. So as long as the uh, the genes don't go against us, um, we're going to be able to start breeding with them and set a new breeding cycle in about an hour's time. So what that means is our two axes here and here that have already been bred twice to produce these eggs, we can now sell them. Now, we keep track of um, how viable the breeding is gonna be on this spreadsheet here. Um, now you can see we haven't updated in a couple of days. We have the original AXS price at $60 and the SLP at six. Uh, both of those have obviously changed. And what we're also expecting to change is this here. So this is the price we're gonna be able to sell these axes at. Now remember, the ones we are selling are the ones that were part of the first generation. So we have a wee image here that kind of gives you an idea. I'll just move things down. Um, so we breed the first and second to produce these. These are our eggs at the moment. And with one of those eggs, we're going to breed that with our third axi, which is this guy here in the middle. And that's going to produce the next two eggs, which will be due in five days. So now what we do is we sell that first generation here. Uh, the last thing we've changed is something I don't think everyone is going to agree with. Um, if you saw the update the other day, we actually had some more axes on the account. That's because to start with, uh, I had some uh, different types to actually farm SLP with or to get a scholar to farm the SLP for me. I have not transferred them to another account. What I actually did was sold them. Um, one or two, I got a slight profit. Most of them I sold at a slight loss. But I think I did it for a reason. So I was hedging against the market um, staying where it currently is. If the NFT market stays where it is or if it goes up, then I knew the breeding chain would be profitable and that alone can support the rest of the project. We can reinvest the profits get a second breeding chain or get more of a team going. 
if the market went down, there was no reason for me to be holding the extra axes. I reasoned that if I sold them at a slight loss now and the market goes down, I can rebuy them again later cheaper and have a bigger team for the same amount of money. So I think I think it was a good idea. Uh, I would do it again. Um, at the moment, it's lost a wee bit of money because the Axie market has stayed stable, but I'm still perfectly fine with that because I would rather be breeding than managing uh, scholars for SLP farming. So, so far, so good. So far, it looks like we're going to be in profit. And um, whatever we get from the staking or the increase in coin prices, that's just a bonus at the moment. Uh, but breeding is looking good, at least for the first round. So the hope will be maybe to start a second breeding chain next week. Uh, we'll see how that goes. And uh, really quick before I do finish this update, this is one thing I wanted to talk about a little bit because it's, it's caught my interest. Um, the idea of flipping axes. So I sold these guys off a little bit cheaper. Here's one of them um, I sold the other day uh, for 0 0.077. You can see I bought it for 0 0.1, sold it for 0 0.77. So quite a wee bit of a dip there. Again, I stand by it. I think I would do it again. Um, I didn't want this as part of my breeding chain, didn't have the genes I wanted. So unless I'm going to farm at the moment, it didn't make sense to hold on to. Uh, somebody immediately bought it for 0 0.77 and then sold it um, a day or two later for 0 0.078. So for doing next to nothing. Now, I've actually spotted this before because I've done it once or twice by mistake. Um, if you look at the prices for some of these things, uh, this again is a bad example. There's no um, recent sales. But you do find even in the same day, I've seen axes with the same stats, the same car, the same breed count, uh, very similar genetics. Um, and I don't think the changes were big enough to justify the price, but they were one to $300 separate selling on the exact same day. The market hadn't moved that much. It was just people who had underpriced um, the NFT. So case in point, I underpriced him for a quick sale and someone picked it up and made some easy profit. Now you do pay the 5% um, marketplace fee there, but that's still money for doing nothing. You could automate that, you could do it on scale. It's not something I'm gonna currently look at, but I guarantee someone out there, someone someone out there is flipping axes. Um, so if we look at that account, uh, it doesn't look like he's doing it on a big scale, if anything. Um, let's pull up this one and see if he's flipping these. Just out of curiosity. Anyway, um, if you'd like to stay up to date and see how we're doing with the portfolio, um, so far the breeding chain looks like it's working and we will hopefully be scaling that next week. Uh, hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or anything I kind of feel to explain, um, feel free to ask in the comments. There are obviously people who know Axie Infinity better than I do. Um, I don't cover gameplay and there are plenty of guides out there on how to breed, so that kind of stuff someone else can explain better but if you have questions about the portfolio or, or what i'm planning to do or you know if you do know better feel free to fire away any suggestions um, i'm happy to hear them